The long and winding road. All right, Russell, let's do this. I got like sixty miles left, I think. Ain't shit. Yeah, we can do it, Russell. We're we're a young lad. I'm sure we can make it. Uh, sixty-three miles to go. Shouldn't have maybe taken so many cans. In a place like this, you never know when you're gonna need more cans. I miss the days of taking shortcuts. <laughs> Why are you looking up at a tree? What did you just like swing like Tarzan or something? Hey, you getting up? Good. If yeah, there's anything like that uh, policeman we hit in uh, Wyatt's story, he weren't going to answer back even if he was alive. Just keep on trucking, Russell. Keep on trucking. I should probably hurry. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I'm hiding. That looks like the uh, truck from Wyatt's story. Oh, fuck. Fucking gross, man. <laughs> oh, look who that is. A very gross blast from the past. Damn you, Lily. I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Well, when the jig's up. That's gross, kid. Although I ain't gonna judge what you do with any dead body. However you get your kicks, you know? Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. What's your name? I never really uh, feel like divulging my name to this random guy. Asswipe. I was gonna say you look like an asswipe. Asswipe ain't got any manners. Mom of Asswipe didn't teach him any manners. But maybe she named you Russell, and you didn't lose the manners till later in life. Unless you stole that bag. Ah, touche. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Because you steal from me, and I'll get your throat out. I don't care who you run around with, you understand? Not in a gang. It's fucking racist, man. Hey, now, I ain't no racist. I just call them like I see them. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. Fine. Fuck. See if I give a shit. Nah, I'm good. Thanks. I don't want to ride. Jesus. Hope he's a ram sensitive. I said I'm good. Fine. People who say they uh, call it like they see him is normally just a layman term for uh, I'm a jerk. <laughs> Change your mind? It's not exactly like I have much of an option, but. Can you get me the stage phone? Let's find out. Get in. Uh, fine through lack of better options than I get. Hell yeah, get in, let's tear it up. Name's Nate, by the way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. Uh, do you know what? I think I'd rather keep my wits about me for now. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? This is the fucking apocalypse. This is like nothing. No, I'm just good, all right? All right, all right. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? Must have been with a crew. Any tailback where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. Yo, I don't think I like this guy questioning my sex life. No, uh, tail. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl who I liked, all right. The argument's semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. All right. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there enough. They're all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. 
and a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. We found survivors, it was the same every time. He... he... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. <laughs> what would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rat? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Women? <laughs> okay, well, let, let me see if I can answer your question. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman is all we got left. No laws, no jobs, ain't nothing that make us men. But they ain't eating all the women yet. Whatever. Let's try this again. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. <laughs> that smile of his. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was dropped, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Okay, this guy really is crazy. Nice, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Knew I shouldn't have got in the car. Tell me, Russ. I'll kill you. Damn it! No, you won't. Damn it! Would you load that? Bullets in the glove there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this guy might be an ass, but the hell if he ain't entertaining. <laughs> I mean, first chance I get, I'm probably going to ditch this guy, because he, you know he's just going to end up badly, especially, I mean, after you're chasing Wyatt and all that, but, uh... <laughs> he's funny. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I. Oh shit! Go! Get out! You, you don't have to tell me twice! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! Yeah, being next to a uh, petrol station probably isn't actually the smartest idea. You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run. I'll keep his fucking head down. Alright, time to get my Usain Bolt on. That's why I can move. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. I should have come with you. Well, it's too fucking late now. We need to relax, Russell. Come on, kid. Look at me. I, I kind of part of me doesn't really want to look in the uh, psycho eyes. This is no big deal. We got this, okay? Okay. First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Why do I have to take a quick glance? You're the one who didn't cover me. It's your turn. Come on, just a peek. Down. See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Hey, look at that. It's like episode one of season one with Glenn all over again. Just keep pushing! 
Except we only had to deal with zombies. We didn't have any crazy guys shooting at us last time. Shit! Push! Uh, end of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. You gonna cover me? If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you wanna go first, that's fine too. I'm not making the same mistake twice. I'll cover you. You go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Come oh, on. I'm so tempted, but I think I need Shoot him to get him. through this. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! Yep, I'm working on it. Kind of tempted to give you a taste of your own medicine. All right, throw me the gun, and I'll cover you. you better cover me this time. Go. Run! Oh, come on, Nate. You can do a few more than two shots. Come on. Good job. Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go. You better fire more than twice. Jeez. Crazy, man. Whatever. We got more work to do. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. I would have thanked him, but Follow me. my life's in danger because of him. So uh, <laughs> I figured really he was just making us swear again. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home cooked meal, alright? <laughs> I'm not sure if Russell wants you to come to come to dinner at his gram grams. Come on. Watch out for that. What's the problem? <laughs> hey, look at that, it's the other uh it's the other policeman from uh Vince's story. We should put it out of its misery. It's fucking dead. Come on. Except for now, somehow he's got a screwdriver in his eye. Well, let's put an end to this story. Feel like a big man now? Let's go. Hey, might as well deal with it now. Stop it becoming somebody else's problem down the line. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow. Sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. I see him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. Secret squirrel style. I like it. I like it. I just hope he doesn't know we're here, because <laughs> that might be get uh, might be met with the butt of a gun. I see him, I see him. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. Do I sneak up? Or just jump out and grab him. Your call. It might be a smart idea to actually grab the gun off this guy, because I don't want him, uh... Him shooting me. Go! Don't fucking move! Walt! Oh! Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! 
First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Shut up. She can see who took her from me. Mask? What's he talking about? Fuck if I know. He's crazy. <laughs> Have you been here before? Russell, don't you start. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please, leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? <laughs> There's those psycho eyes again. Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up. There are real fucking monsters out there. No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see. Fuck you, Nate. I saved your ass. You didn't do shit. Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. Now I've got to say, even though Nate was a uh, clearly, clearly a psycho and just executed that old couple in a uh, cold blood, <laughs> as a character I can't help but like him. I mean, I know obviously he's a, he's a bad, bad man, but <laughs> he's, he's got like enter for sheer entertainment value. You just got to love that uh, that friendly psycho. You know, the guy who thinks all the stuff that he's like thinks it's perfectly natural. The stuff he's doing and has absolutely uh, no idea. It's completely batshit crazy, but. <laughs> you just <laughs> for pure entertainment value, you just gotta love that guy. But yeah, I think uh, I think we did a good job leaving him behind. But anyway, speaking of leaving people behind, that's the end of Russell's story, and we are moving on to Bonnie.